We're here today with David Rowe, Professor of Law at the University of Miami School of Law in Coral Gables, Florida. Good afternoon, Professor Rowe. Good afternoon, sir. Professor Rowe, could you please comment on the recent developments in the Commission of Inquiry? Well, there has been a great deal of contradictory testimony. It appears that the testimony of the Solicitor General is contrary to the testimony of the Honorable Attorney General before the Senate. And the extent of the contradiction suggests that one of the two is not telling the truth. Could you elaborate on the contradictions? Well, the Solicitor General and the Honorable Attorney General differ greatly on the date when the Manat law firm was brought to the attention of the Attorney General and the time when Manat's role commenced with respect to the government of Jamaica. Professor, what are the potential consequences for um, if, if these are deemed to be lies? Um. Well, there is a constitutional convention that is reflected in the Queen versus Perfumo that a parliamentarian who lies in parliament is guilty of contempt of parliament and ought to resign as a result of that. Now this is a constitutional convention which means it is an unwritten constitutional rule which is a part of the constitutional heritage of the Commonwealth Caribbean through the doctrine of reception and the savings clause in the written constitution. Professor, what do you think the likelihood would be of such a proceeding? Well, really, the reason we have the constitutional convention which requires resignation when a cabinet member or the prime minister lies or makes a deliberate misrepresentation in Parliament is that it is supposed to create a situation where the member of the executive acknowledges wrongdoing and acknowledges that the wrongdoing is so great that it is lying in Parliament that they ought to resign without having the having the Prime Minister take any action in the case of a cabinet minister or they ought to resign without there being an outcry. It should operate almost in the way that a statute operates as a rule of law that is unwritten. Professor, are there any uh, alternative remedies or less severe remedies that may be taken if there is a contempt of parliament? Well, there is a censure motion that can be brought by any member of parliament. And, of course, the common man may engage in protest, written protest, or even civil, civil disobedience to demonstrate their unhappiness with either the abandonment of the, constitution, the constitutional uh, convention or with the implication that the abandonment of the constitutional convention has, which is a violation of the Westminster model that we are governed by. The Westminster model protects against executive abuse 
by the observation of these constitutional conventions which govern executive conduct. And when the executive abuses their rule, uh, the constitutional conventions then operate to protect the populace from abuse of executive power. So when the constitutional conventions are not properly abided by, the possibility of public reaction, and that is hostile public reaction, is very great. Professor, thank you for your time.